We're back here now with um, three of very prominent artists in the Wilmington area. I'm holding one piece right now. Now, there are two very important art shows that are going to be this weekend where you can view and purchase some of the fine professional works done by artists who are donating their commissions to very worthwhile causes, and I'd like you to meet three of them. These are well-known local artists, and I'd like to give you a sampling of their works. Uh, these are, this is a painting by Paul Scarborough, uh, who's with us tonight. He's an extremely, extremely popular artist in our area. Take that. I'll show you another one by him. And, uh, as a matter of fact, he had a, a recent one-man showing at the Chad's Ford Gallery, which was a complete sellout. Now, Paul, for several years, has organized a benefit art show at the Mary Campbell Sem Center in, on Weldon Road. And it's a center which houses the multiple handicap. Now, I'm going to show you another work by another artist who's here tonight. Here we go. Also exhibiting at the Mary Campbell Center, center is Terry Newitt. And he's um, also here to sample some of his works and tell us a little about his involvement with the Mary Campbell, Campbell Center benefit. Now, Terry's a fine watercolorist, and uh, he's also the talent coordinator for Focus Delaware. I'm going to show you another one of his works here. Oh, boy, it's a big one. Paul, if you can give me a hand with that one. Now, he recently, Terry, had a recently a very successful show at the Vernon Good Gallery. And here you have uh, one of his works that he's just finished. Now, we also have with us tonight Dara Kaufman, who represents... Um, the Ten Most Wanted. Now, that are ten Delaware artists who will be exhibiting uh, this weekend as a benefit for the Wilmington Drama League. And some of their pieces of art are down below. Perhaps the camera can catch that. So we have a very important, uh, two very important shows this week. And in a second, you're going to see one of theirs. Uh, this is Dara Coffin over there. Now, uh, this is one of Dara's works, which you see, which will be exhibited at the Wilmington Drama League benefit. And now we see the other one. Oh, that's not one of hers. She's brought one of theirs. This is yours here. That's right. Well, it's a pleasure to have all three of you here. And, um, Paul, you know, from what I understand, this is a very well-publicized exhibit. Now, how many benefits for the Mary... How did these benefits for the Mary Campbell Center originate? Well, I was approached by the board of directors, and they wanted to call more attention to the Mary Campbell Center. They wanted to uh, publicize it, let people know it was uh, around and they, they approached me with it to possibly have an art show and uh, draw people to there just to let them see the center and, and, the, and the kids that they have there. I see. Now, besides you and Terry, who are some of the other artists that are exhibiting? Well, they have uh, Charles Parks, who is an oh, internationally yes. known sculptor, and uh, Bob Jones, who is a wildlife artist, Henry, yes. Henry Progar, Veers Mace, Mike Brock, and, of course, Terry and myself. Mm -hmm. Now, Terry, uh, why are you involved in this? Paul asked me a couple years ago, and I'm honored to be a part of it. It's a, it's a very good show. It benefits a very worthy cause. The place is beautiful. It's a beautiful exhibit place, and uh, they treat the artists very well, and the people that come support the show, and we're happy to, to donate. And, and it's just a beautiful day. The, the patients, uh, many of whom would love to be able to paint, come down and uh, mix in with the crowd, and it's, it's an emotional experience. Is there any particular style of art? Most of the artists are representational, uh, wildlife and, uh, as of course, landscapes and, and things like that. Uh, I don't know if there's any much abstract work, so pretty much representational work. But it's mm -hmm. a fine show. People ought to come out. Now, Dara Kaufman, uh, the Ten Most Wanted, that's an interesting title for an art show. Who are the Ten Most Wanted? The uh, Ten are Betty Carr, Jean B. Davis, Joanne Gross, Phyllis Harsler, myself, Laurie McKernan, Aileen Mumford, Sylvia Naylor, Shirley Patterson, and Connie Wall. Mm -hmm. Now, what's your exhibition all about, and what does it benefit? It'll be a cross-section of different types of art, you name it, and this is what you're going to see, abstract to realism. Uh, we are having a show and sale which will benefit the Wilmington Drama League, and uh, the proceeds will, uh, the commissions will go to the Wilmington Drama League to use as they see fit. Mm -hmm. The Drama League, incidentally, has been in existence for 48 years. I think that a lot of people don't know that. No. And it is at Lee Boulevard and uh, Shipley, Cross and Sears. Now, what are the hours of the show? From 10 to 4 on Saturday and Sunday. At the? At the Wilmington Drama League, mm -hmm. and we hope that people will come and see us. Now, all of you have a fine tradition. You're all part of the uh, Transport Brainwood Arts scene. 
and uh, that's a good label. It's a good label. I'm sure. Sure. All right. Well, <laughs> our our group runs the gamut. Mm -hmm. And your benefit will be for the Mary Campbell Mary Center. Campbell Center itself yes. on Weldon Road. On Weldon Road, mm -hmm. on Saturday between eleven and five. Very nice. Well, I hope you all get a chance to come out there because it's uh, both of these shows are very important to the Delaware scene, and I think uh, that um, it's worthwhile to support these.